Okay, this is chapter 4, lesson 4.4, add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Alright, so number 1 says 1 half plus 1 fourth. Now, when you add and subtract fractions, you can only do that if they have the same denominator. So, in this case, they don't. Now you have to find the LCD, least common denominator. Now in order to do that, you take your denominators, which we have 2 and 4, and we're going to list the multiples and we're going to see which multiple they have in common that has the least value. Now, my, um, sorry, what I always say is that you should start with the larger number first, okay? So let's see. We got 4 and we got 2. So let's do 4. Let's do 4 of the 4 multiples. So we have 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 12, 16, dot, dot, dot. Now this one is pretty simple, and I'm sure you could have done this in your head, okay? But I'm just showing you just in case for the other ones. Okay, so for 2, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Ding, ding, ding. 2 and 4 both have a multiple of 4. That is the least common multiple. Yes, they have other multiples in common, okay? But number 4 is the least value. So I'm going to write... LCD equals 4. Now, again, what this means is that we need both of those fractions to have a denominator of 4. Now, in this case, we're pretty lucky because one of these fractions already has a denominator of 4. So we can leave that one alone. The only one that we need to change is 1 half. So we need 1 half to have a denominator of 4. Okay, so I'm going to draw a box here. I'm going to put one half inside the box on the left side. I'm going to draw an arrow, draw a fraction bar, and again, we want the two to turn into a four. So then we ask ourselves, what number times two gives us four? Two. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. One times two is two. So now, one half changed into two-fourths. That's an equivalent fraction. And do not simplify because if you did, you would just go right back to one-half, okay? Because again, we want both denominators to be the same. Okay, so now let's rewrite the problem. So one-half, right, got replaced by two-fourths. So let's write that. Two-fourths, the operation, plus one-fourth. Do they have the same denominator? Yes. So that we're going to keep. Okay? Now we just add or subtract the numerators. In this case, we are adding. And we write it all out. 2 plus 1. Okay, I'm just going to go down here. 2 plus 1 is 3 over 4. Can we simplify that? No. That is our answer. 3 fourths. So 1 half plus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. Okay, next, we have negative one-third plus negative one-fourth. Okay, so first thing we do is we look at the denominators. Are they the same? They aren't, okay? So we have to make them the same. So what we can do is, and I know you guys are probably looking at this, second thing we can do, okay, which will be the first thing now, sorry, is we are going to circle the two signs. Okay, let's get that out of the way. A positive and a negative, when they're next to each other, right, turn into a negative, okay? So now we have negative, be careful of that, one-third minus one-fourth, okay? So now it's a little easier to look at. Okay, so now, do they have the same denominator? They don't, okay? They need to. So what we need to do is we need to list the multiples of the denominators, which are 3 and 4, and we have to find the least common denominator. So we're going to start off with our larger number, which is 4, and then 3, and let's list some multiples of 4. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, dot, dot, dot. Okay, now let's do 3s. 3. Six, nine, twelve, ding, ding, ding. Three and four both have a common multiple of twelve. Okay, so that is going to be our 
least common denominator, 12. So again, what that means is that we need both of those fractions that have a denominator of 12. Okay, so now we're going to draw our rectangle. We are going to split it in half. We are going to write our two fractions. Now remember, we have a negative here. Okay, that's why I'm starring it, because a lot of people are forgetting that. Negative one-third. Okay, we want to have a denominator of 12. And then we have one-fourth that we want to have a denominator of 12. Now don't get confused with this sign right here. Okay, that's not negative one-fourth. That's the subtraction sign now, okay? So if it's easier for you, what you could do is to put a box around the terms that we have. So negative one-third, subtracting, minus one-fourth, okay? All right, so let's go back now. So now we ask ourselves, what number times three gives us 12? Four. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Now this goes back to chapter three, okay? Multiplying integers. Negative one times four. Now one times four, we know is four, okay? Negative and a positive make a negative, so it's negative four, okay? Over 12, that's our new fraction here. Now what number times four gives us 12? Three. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. One times three is Three. Now be careful because I've seen some people just, okay, the LCD is 12, so I'm just going to write negative uh, 1 over 12 minus 1 over 12, okay? You have to do the same thing from the bottom to the top. That's a very important step. Okay, so now we replaced negative 1 third with negative 4 over 12 and 1 fourth with 3 over 12. So now we're going to rewrite the problem. Negative, sorry, I ran out of room. Negative 4 over 12 minus 3 over 12. Do they have the same denominator? Yes, so we keep it the same. Now, again, we need to write out totally the numerator, okay? It's negative 4 minus 3. Negative 4 minus 3. And again, this goes back to integers. Okay, so okay, we know that 12 is the denominator. Negative 4 minus 3. Same signs add. Okay, 4 plus 3 is 7. Same sign, keep the sign. Negative 7, because think about it. If you're at negative 4 on the number line and you're subtracting 3, okay, remember when you subtract, you go to the left. So if you're at negative 4, you're subtracting 3. So negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. So now we have negative 7 over 12. Can that be simplified? No, because 7 is a prime number. Okay, number 3. Negative 2 thirds minus 1 half. Okay, again, do they have the same denominator? No, but they need to. So we need to list the multiples of both numbers to see which one they have in common. 3 and 2. So let's list some multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, dot, dot, dot. Let's list some multiples of 2. 2, 4, 6, ding, ding, ding. 6 is a common multiple, our least common multiple. Okay, so we're going to use that for our least common denominator. Now, if by chance, okay, say you use 12, right? They both have 12 as a multiple. That's okay. But at the end, when you get your answer, you're just going to have to simplify. So now we have LCD equals 6. Okay, so again, what that means is we need both of those fractions to have a denominator of 6. So we're going to make our rectangle. We're going to split it in half. We are going to write our fractions. Okay, and again, remember here we have a negative. Negative two-thirds. We want the three to become a six. And then we have 
one half, not negative one half, because again, this is negative two thirds minus one half. And we want the two to also become a six. Okay. So what number times three gives you six? Two. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. You have to. Negative two times two. Okay, again, this goes back to integers. Okay, we multiply first. Two times two is four. A negative and a positive make a negative. So now we have negative four over six. What number times two gives you six? Three. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. I repeat, you have to do to the top. One times three is three. Now we have three over six. Okay, we have our new equivalent fractions. Now we're going to put them in the equation. Now we have, oops, okay, now we have negative four over six minus three over six equals. Do they have the same denominator? Yes, so we keep it the same. Now we write out the numerator. You have to write it out or you might make a mistake. So we have negative four minus three. Negative four minus three. Well, that looks familiar, right? That was not in the last question. Yeah. Negative four minus three. If you're at negative four on the number line, you subtract three, go to the left. Okay, same signs add, different signs subtract, same sign, keep the sign. Okay, so negative four minus three is negative seven over six. Now, when you see this problem, this is an improper fraction. And what an improper fraction is, is when the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom. Okay, so in this case, you have to divide. So we're going to do that. We need to divide. You cannot leave it like this. Okay, let's divide. Top in, top in, bottom out. We'll leave that negative sign out. Okay, but we have to remember it. So let's put a star next to it again. All right, how many times does 6 go into 7? Once. Put a 1 up there. 1 times 6 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, now if you wanted to change this to a decimal, or turn it into a decimal, so you would add the decimal, add the 0, bring down the 0, okay? But we want to make this into a fraction, okay? Because we're working with fractions. So our whole number is going to be, right, the number on top. So 1, I'm going to put it up here. That's the whole number. It goes into, 6 goes into 7 one time, right? A whole one time. And then we're going to make in a clockwise circle. So it's going to be 1 and 1, right? There's a remainder of 1 over 6, which is the denominator. Okay, so 1 and 1 over 6. Can that be simplified? No. So you can box your answer. Number 4, negative 5 over 6 plus negative 4 ninths. Okay, first thing, let's circle those signs. Positive and a negative make a negative, okay? So let's bring that down. That turns into a subtraction. Again, we have this negative here. Put a star next to it. So let's bring everything down. Negative 5 over 6 minus 4 over 9. Okay, do they have the same denominator? No, they do not. We have to make them the same, so we need to find a multiple, the least common multiple. So let's list some multiples of 9 and then of 6, okay? 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 27, 36, 45, dot, 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 okay? Now let's go to the 6's. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. 18, whoop, ding, ding, ding. Our LCD is 18. Let's write that. LCD is 18. Okay, so they both have a multiple of 18. Now, some of you guys, okay, if you didn't see that, you might have thought it was 36, right? 6 times 6 is 36. 9 times 4 is 36. Okay, that would have been okay, but at the end, you would have had to simplify, all right? So now we have LCD is 18. So again, what that means is we need both of these fractions that have a denominator of 18. So let's put a box around our fractions. We have negative 5 over 6 minus, all right, that's our operation, 4 ninths. Okay, so let's make a rectangle. 
down here. Let's split it in half. Okay, we have negative, remember that, 5 over 6. We want to have a denominator of 18. And then we have 4 ninths that we want to have a denominator of 18. What number times 6 gives you 18? 3. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Negative 5 times 3. Okay, let's multiply first. 5 times 3 is 15. Negative and a positive make a negative. So we have negative 15 over 18. Okay, 4 ninths. What number times 9 gives you 18? 2. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 8 over 18. Okay, so now we have our new equivalent fraction, so let's write them out. I'm just going to put a little, little squiggly. Okay, so we have negative 15 over 18 minus 8 over 18. Do they have the same denominator? Yes, they do. So we keep it as 18. Okay, now we write out the numerator. Negative 15 minus 8. Okay, I'm going to put the little thing over here. Okay, so we got negative 15 minus 8. So if you're at negative 15 on the number line, you're subtracting 8, you're going to the left. Okay, same signs add. All right, let's add them up. 15 plus 8, 5 plus 8 is 13. Bring up the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 23. Okay, same sign, keep the sign, right? Because if you're at negative 15, you're subtracting 8, you're still going to be in the negatives, okay? So we have negative 23 over 18. Now again, this is an improper fraction, so we have to divide. So let's do that over here, so we're kind of running out of room. Okay, top in, bottom out. Oops, I kind of made a... a Okay, 18 goes into 23 once, right? A whole one time. 18 times 1 is 18. 23 minus 18. Okay, well, you can't subtract 3 from 8 in this case, right? We have to borrow. Make that a 1. Make that a 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. And 1 minus 1 is 0. You don't have to put that. Okay, so now, instead of we're not going to do a decimal, we're making this into a fraction. So... Our whole number is 1. Oh, eh, sorry, I'm going to go down here. 1. Okay, we go clockwise. 1, 5 is the remainder over 18. Can that be simplified? No. So that is our answer. And number 5, 3 eighths minus negative 1 fourth. Okay, so again, we have the two signs next to each other. We circle them, negative and negative make a positive. Bring down everything else. Now, in this case, we don't have a negative in front, okay? So now we just have 3 eighths plus 1 fourth, okay? We need to find the what? LCD, right? Because both of the denominators are not the same, okay? So we start with our 8, the bigger one, and our 4. Let's list some multiples of 8. 8, 16... 24, dot, 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 okay, multiples of 4, 4, 8, ding, 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 that was a quick one, okay, our LCD is 8, they both have a multiple of 8, now, again, we got a good one because we already have a fraction that has a denominator of 8, okay, so we don't have to do anything with that one, the only one that we need to do something with is 1 fourth, so let's make a little box here. Okay, let's put our 1 fourth in there, and we want to make that 4 into an 8. Okay, so then you ask yourself, what number times 4 gives you 8? 2. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, we have 2 eighths. All right, so now let's replace 1 fourth with 2 eighths. Okay, let's rewrite the problem. You always got to rewrite everything, okay? Don't be uh, lazy or sloppy and just write over it and erase it, okay? Do, take your time, you do your work, you'll get the right answer. 
Okay, three eighths. Oops. Uh, sorry, plus two eighths. Do they have the same denominator? Yes, so we keep it. Write everything out. We got three plus two, which is five, okay, over eight. Can that be simplified? No, it cannot. That is, no, sorry. That is our final answer. And if you have any questions about anything, please email me or ask me tomorrow. All right, that's it. Good night.